Item Number, SCP-4574. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. The land surrounding SCP-4574's cave has been acquired and marked as an archaeological site. Guards are to maintain a perimeter around SCP-4574's cave and turn away any trespassers and nesticizing as needed. Description SCP-4574 are two animate conglomerations of primitive spears, hand axes, clubs, and javelins, each in the shape of a smilodon. Both instances of SCP-4574 appear male with the larger of the two designated SCP-4574-A and the smaller SCP-4574-B. The weapons compromising SCP-4574 are of similar craftsmanship, and many are decorated with feathers, leather strips, carvings, or dyes. The majority, approximately 80% of these weapons, share similar compositions, and collectively date to approximately 13,000 BC. The rest are assorted obsidian weapons of Mesoamerican make, two muskets, and a Spanish sword. SCP-4574 inhabit a large, partially submerged cave system in the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico. Cave paintings line the portions of the cave above water, dating to the same time period as the spears. SCP-4574 guard the caves as a pair. They will not attack those who enter unless the intruder attacks them or attempts to touch the cave paintings. Otherwise, SCP-4574 are relatively docile. They communicate with each other verbally in an indistinct language and show signs of intelligence well beyond that of ordinary felines. Cave Paintings Listed in order of appearance, starting closest to the cave entrance. Numbers 1-6 through six, A generic depiction of a large group of people drawn in black. The next several paintings depict the people performing mundane daily tasks, such as fishing, creating fire, or sleeping. Number 7 A family unit and a possible representation of the birth of two children. Numbers 8-11 through 11, The children are shown advancing through the stages of life, reaching adulthood and gaining spears. Numbers 12-15 through 15, The brothers are shown hunting a large Smilodon that had attacked the tribe. The animal attacks the younger brother and is saved by the elder, who sustains a serious injury before they kill the animal. Number 16. The injured brother relinquishes his spear and becomes some kind of religious or shamanistic figure in the tribe. Number 17. Another tribe or group is depicted, drawn in red. Numbers 18 through 20. Depictions of struggles between the two groups. Number 21. The brother with the spear is killed defending the other brother. Number 22, partially eroded away. Surviving portion depicts the living brother surrounded by a circle of symbolic fire. Number 23, two skeletons are buried next to each other. The people throw their spears onto the burial site. Further paintings have eroded away.